we want to bring in Renita Young, senior markets correspondent. We want to take a look at Hems and Hers Health, which is shooting higher after its results. Renita? This is a different look from a healthcare stock that we saw following last week when we saw a few that didn't do so well, but this one skyrocketing to multi-year highs. I believe it's at its highest since around June of 2021. The company swung to a fourth quarter profit, significantly narrowed its annual loss, and then gave an upbeat outlook for the full year. So if we take a look at the numbers, earnings per share beat estimates came in at one penny, but that was better than the expectation of a loss for two cents. Revenue grew almost 48 percent. That was to $246.6 million. And within that, online revenue was up more than 47 percent to two, pardon me, that was to, well, it grew, grew more than 47 percent. Wholesale revenue grew more than 52 percent. And subscribers grew more than 48% year over year. That key number was at 1.5 million subscribers. Monthly online revenue per average subscriber. That, however, dropped by a little bit, by about 4% to $53. And the company said this is essentially, you know, underscoring the power of the Hems and Hearst brands and then the superior execution that the company did. But I say it's a testament to to those subscription customized services um, that became way more popular, of course, during the pandemic as people sought out subscription vitamins and other things like that, even for their pets. Uh, but really good earnings report for Hims and Hers and just underscoring how powerful this brand has become over the past few years, Diane. Yeah, and to your point, even about the habits that were created during the pandemic that bode well for a company like this, telehealth took off. Yes. So it's no surprise that you see that continuing to uh, just remain around in terms of what habits people have created due to the pandemic and even with people kind of coming back to the office telehealth still uh, a good tool for that so you can see why they may have performed any analyst notes that you saw on yes. this or anything else that we missed in our coverage i absolutely saw a couple of analysts several of them raised their price targets on this stock guggenheim was one of them maintaining a buy rating but raising the price target to 17 dollars from 15 dollars a share and i will say one quick thing on the telehealth we had seen and talked about earnings from another telehealth company last week that really did show that this field is crowded, right? But what this company has is those additional products as well that boost up the revenues and earnings. All right, Hems and Her is up off the back of its latest quarterly report card. Renita Young with great insight, senior, senior markets correspondent. Thank you, Renita.